What I'm talking about today has every opportunity to completely change your life if you're a man and definitely can change a woman's life who might be involved with a man that fits what I'm sharing about today. And it can really revolutionize your relationship. So pay attention. Might piss you off, might frighten you a little bit, but this could make an enormous difference in how you're experiencing your life and relationship. I'm Jeff Lawton, your relationship architect. Glad to be back with the latest video for you. And, <clears throat> you know, it is often thought to be a virtue to be a nice person. And it is a virtue. And with men, men tend to be, you know, really appreciated if they're nice guys. So I want to make it really clear from the outset that there is not a problem if you're a nice man, if you're a nice guy, if you're a nice person, not a problem. But think about nice guy with lowercase n, lowercase g. Because there's a whole nother group of men out there that are nice guys with a capital N and a capital G. And where I first had this put into a framework that full disclosure fit me almost to a T was in a book called No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover. So I want to make sure that he's getting credit for his book here. But here's, I want to share some of the key characteristics of a nice guy with capital N, capital G, okay? So if you're a man watching this and this fits you, then you're going to want to pay attention to what I'm going to offer at the end of this video about how you can work with this. If you're a woman or a man who's with a man that fits what I'm about to describe, stay with me to the end as well. Okay, so I'm going to share some of the key characteristics of this kind of nice guy. He's a giver, he's a fixer, caretaker type. He seeks approval from others, a lot. Very conflict avoidant, believes they have to hide their perceived flaws or weaknesses. So that might look like, oh, I'm good. I've, yeah, I've, I've got my stuff all together. Always striving for the right way to do things. So this is a man who can get way disproportionately tweaked out if he makes a mistake or something doesn't go the way that he thought it would. He represses his feelings. He tries overtly, to you at least, if you're with someone like this, trying to be different than their dads. More comfortable with women than men. Had a hard time, has a hard time making their needs a priority. No, 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 honey, your needs come first. You know, I, I'm good. Let me just take care of you. Mayday. And they make their partner their emotional center. So just think about that for a second. If you're a woman watching this and you're in that kind of a relationship, how much pressure do you actually feel being your man's emotional center rather than him being his emotional center? Now, this can also work both ways, by the way. Women, many women make men their emotional center. It's never a good thing to have your partner be your emotional center to be your foundation. But that's a whole nother video. I wanna stick with this for today. Okay, so those are elements of 
or characteristics of what nice guys are like. Okay, now let me share one more list of characteristics of nice guys. They're dishonest. They're secretive. They're compartmentalized. Manipulative, because one of the key things about a nice guy in this sense of that term is they're often motivated to give to get. If I make you my queen, you're going to make me my king, and then I'll feel okay about myself, is how that can go. They're controlling. Give to get, passive aggressive, which makes sense. If you're conflict avoidant, you're going to deal with your upset one way or the other, and if you're not going to engage in conflict intelligently or emotionally maturely, then you're going to be you're going to behave like a passive aggressive schmuck. Isolated, they tend to stay isolated. You're their world if you're their partner. Poor, poor boundaries. They tend to be fixers, and they have sexuality issues. Either they're acting out sexually, addicted to pornography cheating, objectifying to the extreme, but they'll tell you, I've got no problem with sex. So, I'm wanting to share this because in addition to being the relationship architect, I've also been leading men's work for 19 years. And in my men's community, The Evolving Man, a vast majority of the guys who have found their way to us fit this description. And it makes sense that my partner and I would draw that because he and I are both recovering nice guys. And both of our, you know, girlfriend, wife, they've been incredibly tolerant. <laughs> maybe too much for my wife sometimes. So I'm fully admitting that I am a recovering nice guy. And so many of those symptoms fit the way I used to relate to women. Definitely explains all of the reasons that my first few relationships when I was a teenager up into my very early 20s ended up being, you know, shipwrecks. So the Evolving Man is a community of men that help nice guys, number one, find out that they may be that. And if they are, then we have ways of helping men move beyond that and become integrated, healthy, maturely masculine, energetic men that then makes them much better fathers, much better partners, and happier humans. Because what I can tell you from all my years of being this nice guy, it's hard work. It ain't any fun. And it tends to keep your heart shut down. And if your heart shut down, what's the point? So if you happen to fit this profile, or if you're a woman or man with a man that fits this profile, then I invite you to steer yourself or your partner to theevolvingman.com. We have groups that are virtual. We have groups that are located here in the Front Range of Colorado where I live. So we, and we also work one-on-one -on -one with men. So if you've heard this and you've gotten uncomfortable, your stomach hurts, or you couldn't wait to slam your laptop lid or your phone off, you want to deal with this. You don't want to keep suffering in it. And if you don't think you're suffering, you're probably lying to yourself. So www, the evolving man. If you've got comments, you're welcome to leave them here. 
if this is too sensitive to leave on a social media platform of any kind, then go ahead and feel free to email me at jeff, G-E-O-F-F, -F, at yourrelationshiparchitect.com or jeff at theevolvingman.com, either one. But if you want to learn more, if you're hearing enough to be uncomfortable, but you want a little bit more information, then reach out. Let's talk. Okay. Until next time, keep loving fiercely, proudly, and out loud. The world needs it. And I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.